Hello! Feels like I've been an awful long time since I've done a pickups video. I've done like the random little boxes and stuff. But yeah, not a pickups video because I was trying to be good. And going by the stack of stuff I've got here, I wasn't very good. So, well, sorry if I'm sweaty, it's super hot in here. I've got a fan going, hopefully that won't affect the sound. But I've got this weird Pikachu drink I found today in a shop to sup on. Which I imagine is going to be disgusting because it's cucumber flavoured water, I think. Let's find out. Ooh, fizzy. Let's see if it's refreshing. It smells like cucumber. A taste of nothing. Pretty much nothing. Anyway. Yeah, this is going to be a long time. Um, well, I'll start with... I don't know. I'll just, I'll just, I was going to put a order to this, but nah, I won't bother. Um, this first one was a very long time ago on Swap Shop. Uh, Fob showed off some Game Gear games and I was interested in one. And my comment kind of got just buried under a thing. And uh, Paul, the Ink Northerner, bought the, uh, bought the bundle of them. And he knew I was interested in this one game, so he sent it to me. Which is uh, Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden, I never know how to pronounce it, on the, uh, the Game Gear. So yeah, cheers for that. But we're not yet done with uh, Paul. He sent me some other stuff. He sent me some uh, DS games, which I've passed on to my mum. They were like um, hidden object games, which she's getting into them. So she's, she's very happy with them, by the way. Uh, and he also sent me a game recently that I loved on the 360 and I wanted to go for the trophies on it on the PS3. So he sent me a copy of Enslaved. So yeah, great little... Um, what would you call it? It's kind of a Prince of Persia running off walls kind of game. Bit bit hack and slashy on the combat. Very good game though. Recommend it. Right. What else have I got? I'll just start with other stuff. This was a purchase off of a more recent swap shop. More like two weeks ago, I think. Um, Fob again was showing off some stuff and I got this off of him, which was a Pokemon White 2. So yeah. I'll go into the uh, Pokemon collection. Not that I've got many Pokemon games, but... Actually, that reminds me of this one. I was talking to... Um... Actually, we're in a little after-party thing, and I, meant... I I picked this up randomly. This was a charity find for 50 pence. Um, yeah. Just launched it. It's a... Um... Unluckily, it, it didn't come with a game. It was completely empty. So, apart from the manual and that. But 50p for a case for heart gold, you can't really go wrong, can you? But um, Jim Corbana, he messaged me saying, oh, did I need to complete uh, my version of it? Um, because I didn't have the big box. He said it's a bit tatty, but he'll send me the box. So he sent me the outer box for Pokemon Heart Gold. So yeah, it's got it's got my proper version of it in there. So oh, I'm gonna get this back in now. And it had an extra clip in it for the Poker Walker and the little tray for the Poker Walker. But yeah, I've put, I've put my Poker Walker in there now. So I can't do this without dropping it. It's going to go everywhere. Never mind. Oh, this ain't going back in now. Let's let's just put that over there out of the way and I'll sort that out in a minute. <laughs> I can go over there. All right, I haven't got much battery on my camera, so I've got to do this quite quick anyway. I know I'm not going to. Um, I, I took a trip to uh, Insanity Retro Gaming. Um, Looked all the way through their stuff, and I could only find one thing I needed, uh, which was actually a pretty good one. I got Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap, the uh, limited run release of it. So, yeah, complete. I haven't played it yet, but that was, again, that must have been over a month ago. I've, I've been good. Well, that's, I've definitely been pretty good, because I haven't bought it in a week. It's been over a month or two or whatever. I don't know. Um... We'll do some other random, I'll just do it random. So recently I walked into game to see if they had anything interesting. Uh, and they had, they had a game that's always piqued my interest, which I've, I always see it in CEX and I swear it's about 25 quid. But they had it brand new for 9.99, which is a ghost of a tale. Yeah, it's like a little, a little RPG game, I think, where you play as a little mousey thing. But yeah, just, just sounded interesting. So I'll give that a shot at some point. Um, what I'll do now, I'll talk about some recent, uh, like charity shop pickups, we'll go with that. So I grab this first little stack. Yeah, just digging around in my local charity shops. Nothing special. I found a copy of SpongeBob's 
square pants, light camera pants. I think it was a pound. I probably paid a little bit over on a few of these, but I don't mind when it's going to charity. Um, I don't know why I picked this up, but there was a copy of Dead Space 3 on the PS3. Trying to slim down the PS3 collection, yet I still keep grabbing things when I see them. Uh, another one was Zathura. I didn't know if I had this or not. This was like a movie tie-in game, isn't it? To the, like, the movie that's like a sequel to Jumanji almost, with a board game, but it's spacey. I don't know. Uh, this one was pretty good actually. So we have Dark Souls here. I've always had this big box um, with all the limited edition stuff in it and finally I found a copy of the game that I just popped in there. So yeah I think the, the game that one was £2 or £2.50. I was right with paying £2.50 for Dark Souls. It's kind of weird that I've never had the first Dark Souls and all the 360 stuff but uh, I just found this one PS1 game randomly in a charity shop, which was The Road to El Dorado. I'm not sure, is it? I think this is based on a movie as well, DreamWorks movie or something. I haven't actually tried this out, but yeah, it came complete. It's in actually alright shape. Remember, this was actually quite expensive. This is about four quid, I think. But I thought I don't ever see PS1 in a charity shop, so I'll grab it. They did actually have a, they had a copy of Croc 2 as well, but they wanted like 15 quid. And it was missing the front. I was like, nah, I ain't paying that. Um, yeah, I don't know why I picked this up. Another PS3 game. Uh, apparently I paid £2.50 for this one. Need for Speed Pro Street. No, no idea why I picked that up. No idea. I've completed this on the 360, so I don't really need a PS3 copy of it. Because all the servers are offline and it's just... that That's quite server dependent, I think, for a lot of it. Um, Tatty Sports title I needed to knock off of my 360 stuff was NHL 10. I definitely paid over for this. I paid one ninety nine for this one in a charity shop. So that's uh, me being a bit crazy. Um, I went and tried uh, a new charity shop that start opened up today. Uh, I only found one thing. Don't ask why, but I picked up Hello Kitty Roller Rescue for a pound. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I need to reevaluate some of my purchases. Uh, this is a decent one. Went in a charity shop, asked if they had any gaming stuff. Um, they did have a few games, but uh, this is what re I really wanted. So Red DS Lite, uh, it was £7. Came with a stylus, it has got the charger, but I've left that downstairs. So yeah, it's in really nice shape. There's a bit of scuff into like the corners. I don't know if it will show up, but yeah. And overall for seven quid, can't go wrong. Um, what else we got? Uh, I picked up these. I know I've paid over the odds for both of these. I oh, know one of them's slightly larger because I, I know CEX sells these for fifty. Yeah, for fifty p, I think it is. I paid a pound for this two. Well, these two Xbox hard drives. One's a sixty gig, so that might be worth a bit more than a pound. Um, but at the same time as that, I did buy these as well. These were a pound each. It was two, three sixty controllers. One with a chat pad. I haven't tested these out if they work or not yet, but they look they're in good nick, they they may do. <laughs> I haven't got round to it. Uh what else to do? I went to I went to a weird geek shop that had not long opened up and I picked this up. I'm pretty sure I've got this on the PS2, but I like all kind of like horror games, so I picked up a copy of the thing on original Xbox. I've yet to play it. People say it's a good game, so I can, either, I can choose if I want to play the Xbox or the PS2 one now. Talking of that, I, games, I picked this up today actually, I went to CEX. Uh, it's the Genma or Genma Onimusha, so it's the like enhanced version of the uh, first of Onimusha Warlords, isn't it? Yeah, but the yeah, Xbox version, so for three quid, I thought that ain't too bad. I did pick something else up in CEX not long ago, but I ah, will find it. This was a CEX purchase actually, it's still got the label on it. I don't even remember why I picked this up. I remember reading the back and thinking it sounded interesting. But yeah, it's uh, Eterno Blade 2. It's £8 on PS4. No idea. I'll give it a shot and find out. Let's swig some more filthy water. Nah. That tastes like if you, um,. I don't know. Oh, it tastes like if you like stirred soda water with a bit of cucumber. That's what it tastes like. 
Uh, we did the old shelf game recently, and I had to pick up a game. Uh, I pulled off of uh, Jim Corbana's shelf, which was a uh, Star Wars uh, Episode One Racer on the N64. Which um, for twelve quid from CEX, this has turned up in absolutely brilliant shape. So <laughs> I can't grumble there. I am running out of space, I think, to put things in here. It's a bit of a bit of a tip. Um, talking of a, where well, I said I don't really find PS One in a charity shop. I went in there into one not long ago and said, "Oh, you got any game and stuff?" They're like, "Oh yeah, we've got a bag of stuff out the back." I said, "How much is this bag?" It was like eight quid for this bag. I was like, "Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it." And it was full of PS One games. In that bag, we got Bugs Life, uh, a Platinum Tomb Raider 2. I think these are all complete apart from one of them. Uh, Platinum Spider Man, uh, Toy Story Racer. I think this is the only one that's not complete. I don't think this has a manual. Let's have a look. Yeah, no manual in Toy Story Racer. But never mind. It's a game that's going to be pretty good, isn't it? Kind of like, almost like, not Micro Machines, but if Micro Machines was like behind, what was that game like? Revolt? Might be a bit like that. Uh, also, Toy Story 2. And a Platinum Ridge Racer Revolution. I guess they tried to shift them. Well, unless this, all, this might actually add up to... Um, Eight quid because they've got fifty p each on the back one. I don't know if that'll show up. All right, what else we got? We got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. That always seems to pop up. We got Army Men Air Attack Two. We got Buzz Lightyear Star Command. We got Three Lions. Seems very uh, relevant. <laughs> uh, we have International Moto X. What I think is, I think uh, CEX don't take a lot of these in. This is why the charity shop ended up with them. Uh, we got Army Men 3D. We got Action Game featuring Hercules. Uh, Buster Move 2. Uh, Wacky Races. And Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters. And that reminds me, I did find another a PS1 game in a charity shop like a couple of days after that. Paid a pound for this one, which is a uh, Adidas uh, Pro. Soccer or something? Power Soccer in National 97. I don't know. It's it was a quid, so I picked it up. <laughs> All right. What else we got here? We've got a couple of other bits. We've got Balan Wonderworld for the PS5. Yeah, this this is weird. It's made by Yuji Naka, the guy who did a lot of like Sonic stuff and that. Um, it's got a very Sonicy look to it, but it's made to be really childlike. So like everything works with like one button. It's a bit weird. I actually quite enjoy it, but yeah, I, I paid like full price for this. And then about two days later, it was like 19.99 in game. So, but I don't regret it. It's my only physical PS5 game. So, why not? Uh, one that everyone's going to think is going to be an absolute shame I've not yet opened it is a uh, Resident Evil 8 Village. Yes, yeah, still sealed. But this was... This is quite cheap in Tesco's compared to everywhere else. I think it was 35 or 40 quid with the club card. So, yeah, I jumped on that. We've also got... Yeah, I found this when I was just wandering in CEX. Picked up a copy of Shenmue 2 on the original Xbox. I think this was like six pounds. I think it was pretty sure it was six pound. So, yeah. I've never had the, uh, the Xbox version, so I thought I'd get it. It came with the... Um, the DVD, which shit, like puts like the first one as a movie, pretty much, so you can catch up. Which I thought was quite cool. Then this was one that after we'd done our shelf game, we kind of went a bit rogue and started pulling random stuff again. So I got this one off of Eddie's shelf, which was a Valkyrie Drive. 
It's one of those games which used to be really cheap. I used to see it all the time, like 15 quid. CEX apparently sell it for 25 quid, but it's never in stock. Um, so I had to go to eBay and I put in an offer. I think I got, I think I got 45 quid for this. I think I paid for it. But yeah, it's one of those, um, one of those pervy games. <laughs> I like everything on the Vita. Uh, what else we got? Oh, I got some other stuff that I got from. Um, I sent uh, the other pool retro bait. I sent him some uh, original Xbox stuff because he, he needed a controller, and I thought I'd check some games in for him. And he sent me some stuff back. So he sent me a GameCube copy of X Men Two: Wolverine's Revenge, uh, Tetris Party Deluxe on the um, DS. I do love a bit of Tetris. Uh, Rayman Rush on the PS1. I did actually have Rayman Rush, but I only had a disc of it, so it's good to have a complete one now. And some DS game, <laughs> this just sounded interesting, it's Maze Mysteries, The Secret of Dragonville. I'm guessing it's going to be some kind of puzzly game. To be honest, it might end up going to my mum, because she'll probably like that. So, we'll see. Um, also recently went to the car boot. I don't often go to that many car boots, and I definitely never find retro at the car boot. But I was walking around, there was like no games anywhere. Then I walked across this tiny little stall and they had a pile of Game Boy stuff and that. So let's have a look what they had. Right, this was this pile in my hand and this oh, there's a game in there as well. The, this pile of stuff was like £20. So we got a Game Boy Color copy of Commander Keen. We got a very heavily damaged label of uh, Mario and Yoshi. We got Metroid, is it Metroid 2? It is Metroid 2, isn't it? Or is it just Metroid? I don't know. But there was two copies of that. <laughs> we got Croc. What else did I get? I got uh, Kirby's Pinball, it's Pinball Land, isn't it? My eyesight's horrendous. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Probably should take them out of the little packets, not the little things, but uh, we've got Tetris 2. Very sudden faded top on that one. Another label damaged one, but not too bad. we got Super Mario Land 2. Is it six golden coins? Right, what else we got? We've got a couple of Game Boy Advance ones. We've got Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Another Super Mario Land, six golden coins, even worse label than before. Um, I have to take these ones out of the little cases because there's a few in them. So we got uh, Sonic Adventure, no, Sonic Advance 3, sorry. Uh, Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase plus Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem. So there's a double cart one. Can't get this one open. Can't do it one-handed. Uh, we got a NES Classics one of um, Xevious. And Spyro 2 Seasons of Flame or Season in Flame, something like that. I'm not sure. The best one of the bunch, though, was worth more than the entire bundle. Because I didn't even know this was expensive. I think it's 28 quid in CEX Unboxed, is a uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2. And the next game I'm holding on to is uh, The Battle of Olympus. Which, I'd never heard of it. When I did some, like, when I looked it up, apparently it, it looks pretty good. It's got some good reviews. Apparently it's a bit like a bit like Zelda 2, but apparently better. So, we'll see. We'll see if the internet lies to me. And finally, I I came home one day and the girlfriend had left a note and some stuff on the sofa, basically saying that she'd bought me some stuff, um, and just just to say, uh, just as a little surprise. So we ended. I ended up with a copy of um, Dead Tomb. It's the. It's a new NES game, isn't it? I think or was it one that was old and they hadn't finished it. I don't know. 
but I think it's like a dungeon crawlery kind of game. But yeah, I haven't opened it up yet. I've just popped it in this protector thing. But yeah, it does it's not a grey cat, the grey cartridge apparently. But it is NTSC and PAL compatible, so yeah, be a bit, di bit different. I don't know if any of this is showing up on this camera, by the way. I can't see anything. But that wasn't it. There was that and. Actually, some bits that go with this. Where have I put them? I don't even ever. I never know how to pronounce this. Is it Toa Plan? Yeah, they're a shoot 'em up collection for the Mega Drive. I haven't opened it. Yeah, it's got a Truxton Hellfire, Fire Shark, and Zero Wing in it. So, to be honest, I've seen what these look like when they're unwrapped and they look really cool so I might I might do an unboxing of it just to show them off because there's there's some really cool looking artwork on these but it also came with a um, little, little, little thank you thing little note and this uh, <laughs> zero wing badge with the uh, all your base are belong to us on it which I thought was quite cool this is surprisingly weighty this badge but yeah I thought it was really cool I think that's everything that I've picked up. I don't know. There's probably more somewhere. But I thought I'd just quickly get this video out just to show you the stuff I've picked up. Then I can get it into the collection. At least then I can get things off the floor. Then I can start to play it because I'll be able to move in here again. So yeah. Um, no, there's not more down there. I thought there's more down there. No. I'm just going to end this. Uh, let me know if I've done well on any of those pickups. Um, yeah, I'm going to bow off and tidy up. Let's have one more swig of this for the one more swig for the road. Nah, that's nasty. Can's cool, but that's nasty. Anyway, have fun. Bye.